but it does not work well when it comes to that. If I want to send, you know, my friend here of mine 100 dirhams, he wants to make sure that I don't still have that 100 dirhams to send to Salvador. That doesn't work, you know. When, when, <laughs> so the, the idea is to make sure that value is an asset can be exchanged in the network securely and safely. And this is what blockchain is doing. And we have a very structured strategy when it comes to blockchain, starting from government efficiency, where we are looking at all different aspects of how blockchain can really revolutionize the work of government and create a seamless and efficient experience. The second pillar is around industry creation. How do we create an ecosystem from developers, investors, um, partners, academia, and the public sector to create this ecosystem that would fuel the strategy? And finally, having the position of international leadership. If we do this, the two pillars, we are obviously be in the forefront of um, shaping the future of this technology. And so you might ask, how does blockchain you know, help with mobility? Well, obviously, uh, technology like this, it's actually very early days. I cannot sit here and tell you I know exactly how blockchain is going to affect mobility. But there are actually many uh, companies that are already starting to look at how blockchain will do this. And one of them is actually Toyota. Toyota, their uh, Toyota Research Institute has actually announced publicly that they are investing in blockchain around the idea of exchanging data. So they have come to the realization that in order to have fully autonomous vehicles, you need hundreds of billions of trips information. So that information, blockchain can power the exchange of this information to accelerate the move towards achieving fully autonomous mobility around the world. So these are basically the four different pillars or enablers that Smart Dubai is playing a key role in to bring in to the city in order to support one of these uh, uh, strategies, which is the autonomous mobility strategy for Dubai. So where, where do we actually go from here? You know, we have 2020 is one stop, 2021, Expo, 2030 with autonomous mobility, and the list goes on. So our uh, leadership has set our goals very high. We've already talking about, you know, not just a 20 year plan, but almost a 100 year plan with, you know, colonizing Mars. And this is the kind of leadership that we enjoy here in Dubai and in the UAE. And I would, you know, finish my talk with this quote from His Highness, that the future isn't something that you await. It's something that you rather be. So I'm here to invite you all to join us in creating the future of autonomous community.